Hello and welcome to my channel, Kuromos here. Today I am bringing you the Fallen Knight, a fighter who chose the path of necromancy to battle his adversaries. We will be a necromancer wizard multiclassed into Eldritch Knight. We will have two undead servants at our command at character level 7. They have decent accuracy and deal necrotic damage, so don't sleep on this. Our servants will arrive a little bit later because we will start as a level 1 fighter, then progress as a wizard. We get access to heavy armor and all martial weapons, so we can stay at the front to keep our minions safe. We will also get access to some powerful defensive spells, like shield or blur, early in our adventure. Since early we will only have a single melee attack, we will have to feed Warcaster to maintain concentration on Vampiric Touch, so we can cast this spell once a turn, since you can use Vampiric Touch again without expending an additional spell slot. If we run out of spells, we we'll still can deal some damage, since we have decent strength and melee prowess. If you are new to the channel, kindly read the description of this video, since I explain my thought process and some consideration while making these guides. Without more delay, let's begin. As mentioned previously, our journey will start as a fighter, getting access to second wing a very useful healing skill. For our fighting style, it's pretty much up to you to decide what you prefer. To me it will be defense since it will help us maintain concentration. For our abilities we're going to focus mostly in strength and intelligence, with a little bit of constitution. At character level 2 we will be multiclassing into wizard, so we get to choose 3 cantrips, bone chill I think it's a must, to flavor our build. For our spells, there are many useful choices here. Ray of Sickness is necromancy, so we should pick it. And the other ones, the usual magic missiles, shields, well, you know the drill. On our next level, we will continue as a wizard, and here we will have access to our subclass. And of course, it will be necromancy. This will let us heal when we defeat an enemy with a spell. And we will heal even more if it is a necromancy spell something to keep in mind. We can choose any other spells we prefer here and then we move on into our next wizard level. At wizard level 3 we will get access to second level spells. Here we can pick blindness or ray of enfeeblement since these are necromancy spells but other useful choices are misty step or blur. At character level 5 we will pick our fourth level in the wizard subclass. We get access to some cantrips and new spells, and we get to choose our first feat. Our preference here will be Warcaster. This will grant us advantage in our concentration saving throws. This added up that we have proficiency in our constitution saving throws from the fighter class. It will make very difficult to break our concentration in any spell that requires it. Once we reach character level 6, will become wizard 5 and then we get to choose level 3 spells. Our first choice will be vampiric touch and since we get animate dead at the next level we will choose something else here. Some great choices will be haste, glyph of guarding or counter spell. On our next level we'll get some great passives. We will get the second undead when we use the animate dead spell and we will have better summons so they will have our proficiency bonus added to them. Plus we get to learn the spell, and it will be always memorized. So here we can choose any other two spells that we prefer, and that suit our playstyle. For this build I decided to end the wizard progression at level 7. The reason for this is we get access to level 4 spells, and there is a very strong necromancy spell here, called Blight, that this will deal massive necrotic damage. We can select a defensive option like Fire Shield or simply upcast Vampiric Touch. In our next level we will continue progressing our fighter class and we will stick to it until the end of the build. At character level 10 we will get access to our third level in fighter and we will choose our subclass. We will go for Eldritch Knight. At this point we have plenty of cantrips and spells, so the choices that we make here are not that relevant, unfortunately. 
Once we are done with our selection, we get into character level 11, so we get access to our second and last feat. We will go for straight ability improvement and we will choose intelligence. And finally, to finish up the build, we will select the last level in fighter and we will get access to the second attack. Usually I do not do it, but in this section I want to share a couple of items that go really well with this build, plus an item that contains a bit of spoilers, so if you don't want to see that, please skip to the next combat. The first item is Circle of Bones. This is a circlet that you can equip in your head slot. This will give you Undead Ward. Allied Undead will get resistant to bludgeoning, slashing and piercing damage. You can also cast Animate Dead, however it will not benefit from your Necromancer passive, so keep that in mind. The second item is the Necromancy of Tay. This is a book that is obtained in Act 1 and it will trigger a quest that will end in Act 3. It is quite long to explain here, but at the end, if you follow certain steps, you will be able to summon a horde of undead, and this will greatly benefit from the circlet that we explained before, and it is very thematic with our build. One minor detail to keep in mind is we need to have two nearby corpses to cast animate dead, and this should be killed normally. For example, if you kill them with necrotic damage, the body will be unusable, and then you will not be able to animate the dead. Now let's showcase a combat where we have our two little undead friends to help us out. Keep in mind, if we want our minions to be more resilient, they need to be within 6 meters of us. So our little minions have to follow us, they cannot be too far away, otherwise they will be very easily destroyed. They are quite squishy, but they pack a punch. Missing twice with 80%? Yeah, sure, it's always possible. I really hope you enjoyed the video, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one, adios!